League professor says you're more successful if you stop saying two phrases. Often it can seem like success is predetermined. You've got to have the right education, contacts, looks. But there are a few things you can do to override the cards you've been dealt, the biggest being the way people perceive you. If you're a positive kind of person, chances are that success will seem within reach. The pessimists among us, however, might need a little convincing and a little help in changing their attitudes towards the future. And according to one Stanford professor, simply giving your vocabulary a little tweak can positively affect how you achieve your goals. According to his new book, The Achievement Habit, Bernard Roth says that there are two very simple changes you can make which are part of something called design thinking. When you employ this kind of problem-solving strategy, you challenge your automatic thinking to see things as they really are, without emotion. We all have reasons why we can't do things. It might be that you want to go to the gym after work, but you've got stuff to prepare for tomorrow's meeting. Bernard suggests that when you use the word but, you create a conflict and sometimes a reason for yourself that does not really exist. Often, there is time to go to the gym after work and still do your meeting prep, you just need to find a solution. By using and, your brain gets to consider how it can deal with both parts of the sentence. So that might mean doing a quick height session or a fast run on the treadmill to liven yourself up before tackling that presentation. Adults are swapped with things that they have to do, it's just part of life. But Bernard recommends trying to change I have to to I want to and seeing if those tasks seem slightly less unappealing. This exercise is very effective in getting people to realize that what they do in their lives, even the things they find unpleasant, are in fact what they have chosen, he says. Photo series captures naked bodies in all their glory to challenge the idea of normal adding black rice to your packed salad will stop it from getting all soggy. Why giving your mental illness a name can help you recover so when you're drowning in paperwork at work, instead of saying that you have to do it, try to think that you want to do it. After all, you chose to work in that sector. And deep down, you probably actually like what you do and want to do a good job. The benefit of having the career you've chosen often outweighs the discomfort of piling through paperwork at 9 p.m., hopefully. Why not give these hacks a go today? You never know, they might just keep you sane if you've got your in-laws coming round for Sunday lunch. More, everything you need to know about drinking alcohol when you're on antidepressants more, how to deal with the anxiety of looking at your bank balance.